Hello guys, it's Panda Man Gamer here, and I am now here with episode. Now I'm here with episode 14 of the High in the Sky series. So as you can see, I now have this magical mushroom suit, and I'm now able to fly all the way around my island, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, I got some status on my armor. So now I have strong mythic, which is really cool. I also have smart and smart. So yeah, because of smart, I now have 20 extra intelligence. Because of mythic, I get an extra seven. So yeah, mythic also gives me a little bit more fast, a little bit faster. It's pretty helpful. So as you can see, I have made a lot of progress with stuff. I've let these things completely fill up. So all of these minions should be completely full right now. And because of being able to fly, I can go around here a lot faster. So I'm going to throw all this clay in here right now. And I have one very specific goal for this episode. And I will tell you guys what it is once I finish collecting all of these resources. So I have the clay, time to get all the fishing stuff. I have a ton of fishing stuff now. Throw all this fish in here. All the salmon in here. Clownfish in here. Butterfish in here. Shards in here. Crystals in here and sponges in here. So yeah, so there's all of those. Now it's time to get the dark oak. And recently I've done a ton of foraging with trees and I've cut down a ton of trees and I've unlocked the medium storage chest which I'll probably upgrade most of my things to off camera. But so that's all the ones on the top floor. And here is all my cobblestone right there. And a, I'm pretty sure that the harvesting upgrade, when it comes, is going to be a thing which makes it where I don't have to get seeds anymore. Which would be amazing, can I just say. In fact, I don't have to worry about dealing with this every time. I want to try to collect stuff from this minion. So that would be extremely helpful if I can get that done. So, so I can throw all this in here. As you can see, I have one exact stack of enchanted cobblestone, which is part of what I'm going to be doing in today's episode, working with. So now I'm going to grab all these melons. I'm going to grab all these potatoes. Wow, I had just enough room. So yeah, if I look in melon collection now, before I was at 1.4, now I am at top 1.3% in melons. So I am making progress to making it into the top 1% of melons. Oh, I'm just a little bit short. I'll throw 36 melons over the edge. You will not be missed. I guess I'm going to throw all these potatoes in. I have done a little bit of potato farming in the barn. I was able to get 60 enchanted potatoes. Oh no, I only have 60 seconds left of flight. Gotta make the most of it. I have a ton of coal as you can see. And as you can also see, I've gotten my giraffe pet up a ton. So now it is level 35, which is really helpful. <laughs> Let's see if I can empty it all the time. I also got a ton of emeralds. See, I just got up taming one. That's got enough another taming level, so I'm taming level 9, which is also very helpful for today's episode. So, boom, I got everything in time. So, for today's episode, I'm going to need this 64 cobblestone. Let's see if I can get everything in time. Uh, there's no way I can get it on time. I also need this enchanted egg. And I'm also going to need one more thing. A special new potion that was added in a recent update. It's called a pet luck potion. So, I've gotten all stuff off camera. I got the enchanted egg by doing a ton of farming, then getting the chicken head, and then sitting there for 40 minutes the, over the weekend. I sat there for 40 minutes and kept <laughs> uh, kept shifting, so I would keep causing eggs to spawn every 20 seconds. It took forever to get this thing, considering that you need 9 stacks of eggs. But now that I finally have this thing, first I'm going to luckily drink the pet lift potion. So I have a better chance of getting a good pet. And now it's time to craft it and see what I get. Ok, 
Okay, ready? Go. What I get? Uncommon. Yay, that's better than what I got before. Before I had the basic silverfish pet. So I'm going to look quickly. Add this pet to my menu. So yay, now I have that nah, organized the same quickly. Convert a pet to an item. Now if I open this thing up. Yeah, I now have my my common solarfish and my uncommon solarfish. Which I'm gonna be summoning in this one right now, and as you can see I've done a little bit of work with carrots downstairs. And my goal for today's episode is I'm going to try to get this silverfish pet as high up as commonly possible. So off camera, I think it's upstairs right now. Off camera, I did a little bit of work farming carrots. And I was able to get these. Simple carrot candies. And this one gives me 10,000 XP. <laughs> Level 21. So yes, boom. I now have... If I go into pets, I now have a level 21. So I can now 27, 31, 35, 37 already. And let's see what the stats are compared between the two. So if I compare the stats, 37. So you'll see that even though this one's a lower level, it the true defense boost is already up much higher. Which is going to be very helpful. So, now they've used all those candies. I, this thing now has a ton of experience on it. Even more than giraffe, actually. So I'm going to spend the entire rest of the episode doing is I'm going to be doing a time lapse right now of me going around mining redstone. Because that'll help in two ways. A, it'll unlock more slots for... Uh, talismans, which I really need, and B, it will also get me, um, experience for my pet. So I'm gonna travel to the... I still don't have the portal to the deep mines. I'm gonna get that one soon, so I can have it just on the next layer, on the top layer, so I can just teleport there whenever I want. But for now, I guess I'll actually walk upstairs. Ugh. Do all my things have telekinesis on them? So I want to make sure. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way down now. Don't actually walk. So annoying. So yeah, after last episode, I've been a little bit short on coins. I've been cut down to only like 10,000 coins left. That's how low I am. Sorry, 20,000 coins left. So I'm definitely going to have to build up that coin amount over the next few days and not spend any sort of crazy amount of money. So I'm going to keep walking right now. And I'm going to go down to the pigment's den and I'll start a time lapse. I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Talk to you then.
So, hello guys. So, I have just finished doing a little bit of a time lapse right there. And somehow I accidentally got a super overpowered item. So, to find this, the XP Share Core, which is a super rare drop that can come from anything in the deep caverns, but it's still a really rare drop. And somehow I was able to get it relatively quickly. Like, these things can sell for millions of coins. Unless I want to use it for the pet item. Which is pretty overpowered. So yeah, so I am now out of here. Now that I've gotten that done. So yes, yeah, so now I have the XP Share Core, which is a very rare item. So let's see how much progress I made with redstone. Oh, halfway there to getting the enchanted redstone recipe, which should be very helpful. I believe, right? No, sorry, I'm almost actually there. Oh, should I go back down there and do a little bit more? You know what, sure, I'm gonna go back down there really quickly, and I'm gonna begin time lapse. So hello guys, I've finally done it. I've gotten myself the enchanted redstone recipe after not too much work. So now that I have that, I now that I have that, I can very easily go and make myself a compactor if I ever want to. Because now I have a good source of enchanted cobblestone. And I, can, and I can also now make and change the redstones whenever I want. So I'm going to go and throw away all this stuff right now. And I'm going to see what I can do with this EXP share. So I can use enchanted, a ton of enchanted gold. And I can use it to... While equipped, this pet gains 25% of the equipped pet's XP. This is split between all the pets holding the item. Wow, that looks overpowered. That looks and sounds overpowered. So, you know, I'm going to go and see if I can't get myself one of those. And how am I going to get the money you may at this? <laughs> Easy. I have too many emeralds. That should be pretty self-explanatory. So I can make myself a little bit of extra money. And then hopefully, hopefully get enough to make the... EXP share. Pet item. Because I don't know if I'm going to use that, but it sure would be awesome to have. To be able to give all other pets XP, even when I'm not using them. I forgot. Can't put emerald blocks directly into the bazaar. So yeah, so I can make a little bit extra money doing this. I can just... And so yeah, so now I have 21,000 on top of whatever I have in my bait, which is probably bringing me around to about 40,000 coins, which hopefully... So if I withdraw everything now... Yeah, 46,000 coins, so hopefully that should be enough to get all the enchanted stuff I need.
So how much do I need? I need six stacks of twelve. So that's seventy-two enchanted gold. That's cheap. That's kind of expensive. I don't know. I might be able to get it. I might not. Nah, there's no way. I'll need 120,000 coins. wonder if there's anyone selling it for cheap. Anyone selling enchanted gold slash pygmy. Anyway, so now that I have that up, I'm going to check the auction and see how much these cores sell for. I'm going to search core. So there's a new kind of spear. There's a lucky clover core, which is a recipe that I have unlocked. There's a tier boost core. Wow. These things are selling for like 600,000. Out or 500. Yeah, but still a lot of coin. That's pretty nice. You know, I, I might just bid on one thing just to have it, <laughs> or all of them. I like to call it a long-term investment. <laughs> so I bid on this thing. Bid. Bid. I'm just gonna go around and bid on all these things that I can. Because it would be so helpful to have if I could just get this many. I know I'm not gonna get like all of these, but I'll be helpful. I'll be thankful if I could get one of these. Core. Done. Ending soon. This one's pretty cheap. Nice, I'm pretty sure it's all the cheap ones. Yeah, I might be able to get a few more if I just go for some of these longer ones. If I can buy all these things for 500 coins and then flip them and sell them for like 600,000, think about the huge profit I could make. Yeah, like 25 coins on these things. It's crazy. So, yeah, so I'm gonna keep going around and getting these things. Yeah, like 10,000 coins for a tier boost score. I know it's like 100% gonna get outvoted for that. Yeah, 12 coins right here. Four, 16 coins. Anyway, so view my bids. Did I not get the other core thing? Did I accidentally not bid on it? Search again. Core. And I'm also going to do ending soon. And then all the way on the last page. Yeah, apparently it doesn't want to work. Hey, anyway, so I might as well just look around what else I can do. So, I have a bunch of that stuff. I wonder if... What new stuff is in the bazaar? Or is everything still about the same? That's just what I'm curious about. Everything's still about the same. Wait, you can buy snow here? What? I just bought so many. And I have a snow minion back at my base. Hmm, maybe I can unlock myself a snow minion slot right now. That would be really nice. Yeah, I have a bunch of items just stashed away right now. So I'm going to take this special core, throw in here with my other items. So what was I going to say? Um, snow minion, yes. Yeah, I do have snow minions. Mm. 
how do you upgrade this guy? You have to upgrade him with snow blocks. Just had a curiosity, uh, recipe book. No, sorry, collection. Minions. Snow minion. I was right, it was snow blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One hundred percent. I'm just gonna keep doing this, and I go to the store. I'm gonna keep going to the bazaar. I mean, it was two thousand coins, and I have even more right now. Like, see, if I just pick right here, yeah, I have so much. I can just keep doing this for days. So yes, yeah, so now I can just one upgrade, two upgrade. Okay. No, you don't have the right to help with me. So now I need nine more minions. Well, I can definitely get myself a pretty good amount of of unique minions. Yeah, there's still more, and I'm still getting these things. I wish you could do like that and would give you it, but sadly you can't. Anyway, so I'm going to keep <laughs> grabbing all this stuff while wow. it's endless snowball. And remember, this was only 2,000 coins right here, and I've been able to get all this right now. So yeah, that's pretty amazing that I can get all this done in one thing. So, now that I have all these done... I'm just gonna go ahead and craft myself a Stominion Tier 4. Because there's no way I don't have enough right now. Yeah. 16 right there. Okay, so now I have myself a snow block right there. And myself a snow minion, which I'll work on placing down eventually. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of High in the Sky. As you can see, I now have gotten myself a new pet, the Uncommon Silverfish pet, and it's already level 38. I've also made a lot of progress with the base, and I was able to get myself a tier 4 snow minion right now, as well as a rare drop from the Deep Caverns. So thank you guys for watching, this is Panaman Gamer. have a great day, goodbye.